some time ago I started um, upgrading my Intercity 225 um, from a Ringfield motor to the CD motor um, and now I'm at the stage that I need to add the DCC decoder uh, which I've got one here um, I've also got my instructions so I'm going to show you how to fit a DCC decoder into a train that has been modified uh, using the CD motor in place of the Ringfield motor. So as you can see here, the, where the Ringfield motor should be has now been completely stripped out and the CD motor, the CD drawer motor has been put in. Um, and then I've modified the pattern to allow this motor now to drive the train. So as you can see, I've got three wires coming from the, the front bogey, um, two of which are my motor left and my motor right, and the third one being my left rail. From the, the rear bogey, I have, there's been no modification done at all, apart from I have extended the wire slightly with a red one. So I've got black for left rail, red for right rail. Um, and then those wires correspond to the DCC decoder left and right. So we'll now do the black one. I haven't made this quite long enough to go over, so we'll just strip the wire. Now this wire is extremely thin, so I'm only using the, the cutter, the, the stripper, just enough to bite in and allow me to use my fingernails to pull the, the rest of the sleeving off. And we'll just pre tin that connection. takes a couple of seconds for it to, to cool down enough and then the edge of the soldering iron is hot enough just to help shrink the sleeving I'm trying to get all sides as well just so that it all shrinks So there we go, that's our left rail and right rail now connected. So I've got all the functions there and now I've got my motor left and motor right. Um, so I've tried to make the colours close close to the, the colours I've got coming from the chip. Uh, so I've got a red which will be my orange and a white which will be my grey. So it's just a simple case of reflowing the solder. Trying to get the wires as straight onto each other as possible. And again, just gently heating the, the shrink tubing.
So there you can see now we've got our front and rear bogies connected up to the chip and now we've got our left and right motor. And as you can see, although I've, I've wired up these chips a couple of times before, I've still got the wiring diagram in front of me just so I can make sure that I do have the correct wires going to the right, the right places. And as I have used the four function decoder, I will be adding more, more of the functions in at a later stage. But as yet, I don't have the the lights and things to to go inside. So that's that's everything now connected. All the joins are now made. They're all secure. Um, all these connectors, they're all they're all cut short, so they won't short out on anything. And what I like to do is I like to put my chip onto the weight. Now, as you can see, we've got two wires coming out the other side and we've got all the wires coming out this side. So, all I'll do is use some masking tape, which can come off easily. And that will sit on top of the chip, hold the chip on board so that nothing will, will short out. just put a light knot in that so that again it's out the way and all of the wires are easily are easy to move and again we'll just put a quick loop through on there and that's us now ready to test this chip Just move a piece of test track in. So I've got a piece of flexi track here. Now, before I started doing the soldering, I spent a bit of time cleaning up all of the all of the wheels um, on both the front and back bogies. Um, as this has been sitting for quite a while now, um, while I got on with other projects. So the wheels were slightly dirty. Um, I'm not sure if they're perfect at the moment, but we'll soon see um, once we connect up the, the Dynamis. So we'll just turn on the, the Dynamis. And we're on. The chip hasn't been programmed in any way, so at the moment it's just on the default channel 3. And as you can see, we've got a bit of life there. And we'll just turn it the other way. working in both directions. We need to run this motor in just to get it just to get it going but even as it is it's working better than it was with the 
Renfield Motor.